Sion, the unexpected maker, has created this seven segment NeoPixel LED thingy. And I purchased a kit on Tindy. I had to try to solder it with the soldering station. And um, while it's soldering, the LEDs made a crackling noise. And when I plugged it in to test it, um, there were, were surely some LEDs that didn't work and didn't pass the signal, uh, signal through anymore. There were all, also some LEDs that lost the ability of some colors. I had to desolder the LEDs again. And the first one I tried with hot air station again. And with that, I damaged some neighboring LEDs. So in the end, I was hand soldering everything on and off. And while doing that, I must have scratched off some um, solder mask from the, not ground plane, but the um, VCC plane that he used. When I checked the data pin, it was actually pulled high or shorter to high. So some LEDs didn't pass the data through. And finally, I fended up with an LED thing that has six white LEDs instead of black LEDs. And also many more LEDs that died on my soldering table. But in the end, I made it work. You might be thinking, what can you do with one segment? And normally um, it would be a bit boring, but since everything is made out of NeoPixels, you can actually control every single LED on here. So when I looked at it, I was thinking, hmm, that would be a good display for a binary LED thing. And of course, if you have a binary LED thing, it must be a clock. Boom. Let's try out my original code. Uh. It's not 16 LEDs, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, uh, okay, it's 29 LEDs. There we go. So that should say 1, 4, 5, 2. So 1452, and it is. I'm so happy about that. And now it's 1, 4, Five, three. Awesome. That was easier than expected. Now let's the let's fix the position. This one as well. Oh, I gotta flip everything. Seven, six, five, four. Nice. Okay, so it's now one. That's one plus four, fifteen. Ah, what am I doing? One, four. Okay, so that's not intuitive. Let's make this hours and let's make this minutes. Is that correct now? One, four, five, and eight. Yes. Brown is one. This is uh, five. Oh, it's yellowish. In the previous video, I shared the basically the same project, but with a four by four matrix. This also uses a small um, real time clock module, the DS3231. And it's just an Arduino Pro Micro that I had laying around and I just put it together. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with the result. Another YouTuber who made a binary clock from another YouTuber's binary clock kit. I will share the code in a gist and put the link in the description of the video. So if you want to play around with it, you can. Um, there are currently no buttons to set anything up. It's just um, you need a certain library. I'm not sure which one it is, but uh, with that you can then set the DS3231 over the serial um, console of your Arduino IDE and then you're good to go. Then you'll have something like I have now with just one LED seven segment thing. I will also put the link to the Tindy shop of Unexpected Maker in there so you can grab one yourself if you want. If you order a kit you also get a stencil to apply a solder paste. Nailed it, nailed it, nailed it. <laughs> 
but let me tell you, it's kind of tricky to solder it. Well, maybe I'm not really used to solder those LEDs with the soldering station, but um, sadly, some of the LEDs, well, actually all of the LEDs are pointing in one direction. So you're good to go for hand soldering on those LEDs. That's actually what I did with the, uh, with the white, white LEDs. But on those rows, you can't actually get in between the LEDs. Well, you can, but you can also burn away some of the case and uh, quite possibly just solder stuff together or um, melt down the case of the LEDs so that it doesn't actually work anymore. So yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Uh, if you're not into kits and this is a bit tricky, you might want to just buy the fully assembled one. Sion bags them in his own soldering oven that he controls with this little board and the display. It's a pretty cool project. You might have noticed already that my hair is dry, so that's how many takes it took me to just tell you all about the project and all about Sion's wonderful LED matrix thingy. So if you enjoyed the project, please leave a proposal in my comments and tell me how beautiful I look. And I will see you next time, or not, if you don't care. I don't care. As always. Goodbye. <laughs> Stay creative and I will see you next time. I don't.